Good morning you guys, it's Karen and I wanted to do a review for you of the Formula 10.0.6 skincare. Um, somebody has commented on my new at the drugstore video where I showed you two of these products that this is not a new brand which is really interesting. Um, I, I think that's still okay that it was in the new at the drugstore because they are definitely new to boots. I have never seen them in boots before. Um, I have never seen them anywhere before which is why I assumed it was a new brand but apparently they are a very old brand so that's great. Interestingly they have their own website but the only countries on there are Australia, United States, Canada and France. Um, so I'm not sure where the brand comes from but it certainly looks like I clicked on United States so I can see what products are available there and there's definitely more products there than there is in the UK. I've currently only seen this on a boot so it's definitely available at Ulta for you guys in the US. Um, and it looks like, from what I can see here, it's only available from Boots in the UK. So I'm going to talk through the, the four products that I've got, because I had the two products I showed in the new at the drugstore, and then I bought a further two, which were these two. I had these two, I bought these two, um, and I have used them all, and I've got some feelings on them. And I'm also going to tell you about what I didn't buy and why I didn't buy it, um, because I did look at everything in the brand that was available in Boots to see if it was something I was interested in. The first product I bought is the one smooth operator and this is one I mentioned in the new at the drugstore is the pore clearing face scrub zinc plus oak plus pumice um, and I said I liked it in that video and that was I filmed that about a week and a half ago I have used this quite a few times since and I really really like this as a face scrub but it does have fragrance in it just so you know um, you may know that I try to avoid fragrance and alcohol except for in products that I use that I just rinse off that's not to say that that's what I think is right or that there's no damage it's just the way that I do it um, and I'm still really really enjoying this and I could see me repurchasing this it's £8.99 which I think is a really good price for this you get 100 ml in this tube so it's a pretty substantial tube you don't need to use very much and it really does scrub really well um, so yeah I really really enjoy that and I would recommend that one the next product that I got um, and showed in the other video was this the picture perfect day daily moisturizer with SPF 15 and I still really love this I've been using that every day since then I find it really moisturizing um, and I like I like the fact that it's got an SPF so I don't need to put a separate SPF on it. The only thing I would say about this is I don't, it won't replace my usual day SPF lotions. Um, my usual being like the Neutrogena, Neutrogena Dry Touch, um, although that one's a very high SPF. Simply because this does have perfume and there's quite a few ingredients in there that I'm looking at that I've not, I, they don't immediately mean something to me. So I would have to look a little bit deeper into the ingredients. And if I loved it, um, like if it had a scent that I really enjoyed, I might well look into it because I'm always looking for something that has a nice scent. The one that I love is that one by, um, oh goodness, it's the one you can only buy at a Image Skincare. Image Skincare, you can only buy at a salon and the day cream, the SPF 30 day cream smells like sherbet to me and I absolutely adore it and that's where I would forgive fragrance um, because it's really really nice and it wasn't high on the list either. Anyway this has got a very light fragrance and it's great as a day SPF and like I said I do really enjoy it but um, it's probably not a repurchase for me it's just one that has been nice to try. The next product I'm talking about is this the Deep Down Detox Ultra Cleansing Mud Mask with Orange and Bergamot so this is what it looks like it's just like a um, cream and is a kind of pinky color yeah it's got a very slight orange scent um if it had an overpowering scent that would have put me off but it does have fragrance in it which is something that i would i only if i absolutely adored this and i felt like my skin was amazing afterwards then i might use it occasionally um and again the fragrance is not high on the list so it's not something that hugely bothers me especially as i'm rinsing it off i have to say i was disappointed with this um just because I, it went on and it felt lovely going on. It's, it's got a very, very light orange scent, which is good because like I said, it doesn't, if it was too overpowering an orange scent, that would have put me off, but it wasn't, it was very light. Um, and I just relaxed in the bath with it on and washed it off. And I, I can't say I felt any difference to my skin whatsoever. So that's why I was disappointed. Now I, I've said before, I've never been a lover of face masks. I've never felt 
that they do that much. I feel like some of them, I can't tell any difference. I just used to use them to hope they would help with my blemishes and others I'll use and there's a nice benefit immediately afterwards, but it disappears as soon as you've put your moisturizer on. But then I used that one from Sukin and I have to say that one, my skin did feel really nice after one of the, the masks, not the other one. Um, and it felt nice for the rest of the evening. But for this, I literally got out of the bath, cleansed my skin, put my moisturiser on, it didn't feel any different than usual. So um, yeah, it's not one I'm, I'm probably not gonna use this again. The final product I bought is the Absolute Dream Clean Concentrated Creamy Foaming Cleanser Cucumber and Grape. Um, and this does have some perfume in it, but it's not very, it's not extremely high on the list, but again, because it's rinsed off, it's not hugely bothersome to me. I don't have sensitive skin or anything like that. Um, oh, actually thinking about it, I should say this one did tingle ever so slightly. Not very much, but a little bit, this mask. Um, sorry, back to this. So yeah, this is a lovely a lovely cream to use. This is what it's like. Um, you, you use a tiny bit. It specifically tells you to only use a tiny amount and then you mix it with water and use it over your face. I wouldn't say that it foamed that much, but I think probably because I didn't use a tiny amount, I wanted to use a decent amount on my skin. And it does feel, I love the feeling of it. It feels like you're just putting a lotion on and then it does get a little bit of a lather, but I wouldn't say a foam, but like I said, maybe if I'd used a tiny bit, it would have done. Um, and it did a great job of getting my makeup off. However, the deal breaker for me is it stung my eyes, which is probably the fragrance. I say I've not got sensitive skin. I have got sensitive eyes to things like fragrance, etc. And my uh, it got near my eyes and, and in my eyes because obviously I put... I try to put my makeup remover or cleanser if I'm using it over my eyes. I want it to work there because I do have a lot of face washes I can use on my eyes. Um, and it, it wasn't just, as soon as I got it out, normally that will stop your eyes stinging. But with this, I used I was using a face cloth to get it off and it was my eyes were still stinging. It was really, really bad. So that is a deal breaker for me and I won't use this again because of that. Because if I'm washing my face in the shower or bath, I'm doing it to get my makeup off and that's all I'm doing it for. And it, it, to me, it's, it's pointless just washing my face and makeup off and leaving my eyes. Um, I suppose I, I could do that, couldn't I, to use it up, but I'll probably forget and end up putting it over my eyes. And like I said, I've got cleansing oils and things that I can use over all of my face that I'd much prefer to use. So that's a no-no for me. Okay, if you see my nose is red at the side here and around my eye, it's because I've just had a fight with my eye to get something out of it. There was like a speck of makeup or something in it. I'm not even sure it's gone. Um, okay, we're on to the things I didn't buy and why I didn't buy them. The Rescue Me Blemish Care, £6.99 I was interested in um, because I do have blemishes and something to use now and again is great. Um, but the ingredients immediately put me off, although it's got some nice ingredients in it like castor oil to me to help your skin not to dry out. The second ingredient is denatured alcohol. First ingredient is water, second ingredient is alcohol. And that's just counterintuitive to me because I think people are realizing now if you've got blemishes, you don't just want to dry them out because they can end up looking terrible and they're very difficult to cover and they just, you know, your skin dries out. I, I guess the fact that that's got castor oil in it does help. To what extent it helps, I don't know. Maybe if you're really interested in it, give it a try. Let us know if you've already tried this, what you think, but that's why I didn't go for it. I don't have um, blemishes as much as I used to now, thankfully, but that's more to do with medication than it is to do with skincare. Um, it does also have some irritating fragrances in it as well. Um, it has got salicylic acid in it, so, um, yeah, it, 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 may be, it may well be good. And I like that it's got castor oil in it, but um, that aside, it was the alcohol that put me off. Next is the Three Times Sublime 3-in-1 Blackhead Wash Plus Scrub Plus Mask. Um, I was tempted to buy this one, actually. Uh, I wish I could have smelled, I wish I had testers that I could have smelled what they were like, because the scent would be appealing to me or otherwise. Um, but this is, I, I don't know, I suppose something that was, I want to buy a scrub and then a mask. I don't necessarily want two in one or three in one. This is saying a wash. It's really just a scrub plus a mask, isn't it? I don't necessarily want a two in one. Those to me are two different things. I use a mask to improve my skin. I use a scrub as a kind of exfoliator before putting on my fake tan. So they're two different things to me, but no other reason. So it, it may well be something I'll try in the future. The next is a product called Pores Be Pure and it is a skin clarifying mud mask. They do do quite a few face masks actually. Um, why didn't I try this one? There's a lot of fragrance in it, but as we've seen, that doesn't necessarily put me off. Um, I don't know if I even saw that one, but I think if I did see it, 
The only reason I wouldn't have bought it is because I chose to get this one specifically. So again, I might well try that one actually. It doesn't have, I thought it might have alcohol in it and it doesn't. So um, I might well try that one. It does have parabens in it. And like I said, it does have some fragrance in it, but that is one that I would consider trying and see how I get on with it. Um, there is the Best Face Forward Daily Foaming Cleanser, Passion Fruit and Green Tea. I couldn't decide between that one. Oh goodness. Sorry about that Hoover, I'm gonna to have to change my filming times, aren't I? So what I was saying was, um, I did consider buying the Best Face Forward Daily Foam and Cleanser, but I couldn't decide between it and this one, and I went for this one because it was a creamy one. Um, looking at the Best Face Forward, it's 8 dollars they're both about the same price, and it does have fragrance in it as well, so I wonder if that one would sting my eyes, so I probably won't try that one, simply for the fact of if a, if a creamy one does, and they they all seem to have fragrance in them somewhere along the line, then it might be that that's actually stinging my eyes, so that's probably why I won't try that one, but I think that one was a bigger bottle, 150 mil, yeah, and this is 100 mil, so I think for around about the same price, you get a bit more in that best face forward one. Two more products left to discuss that are available in Boots um, that I didn't buy. The first one is Seriously Shine Free Mattifying Oil Free Moisturiser. Um, the reason I wouldn't get this is nothing to do with the ingredients actually, it's just to do with, I used to be very attracted to things like that and I would use that and then I would use an SPF but now I find that there is SPF day lotions out there that are mattifying and oil free and you know a good base for makeup so I don't need to use two products so I just don't see when I would use that because even if I'm going out in the sort of early evening I put an SPF on even if I've you know cleansed my face and I'm going out for a walk so I don't see any place or time I would use that but if that appeals to you it's £8.99 um, the ingredients are good in that there's no alcohol I expected to see alcohol as the second ingredient and it isn't there is geranial and linalool, which are irritating ingredients to your skin, but they are very, very low on the list. Um, there is some added perfume, but again, it's not very high on the list. It's got salicylic acid in it. Um, it's, it's not too bad a product, actually, uh, but like I said, it just doesn't suit my skincare regime. The final product is called So Totally Clean, and it is another facial cleanser, but it is another one where you need warm water to rinse it with, yes. Yeah, so, so it's a kind of a face wash. The only reason I didn't get that is, it, again, it didn't seem to me like one that you could put on your eyes. I feel like it would be called a makeup remover or, or it's just, this is one that you, I think you use after you've taken your makeup off as a cleanser, if you see what I mean. Um, there is some perfume in it as there is with most of their products. It's fairly high on the list. It's not at the top of the list, but other than that, it's okay. They do seem to specialize, or certainly in the boots that I went into, they specialize in face masks and face washes. Um, there isn't much more than that other than that little um, pause, you know, the little blemish product. Um, but I just want to have a look on the American site here and tell you that there are a lot more products where you are and one product was in Boots that I don't see on Boots online was a micellar water, which I was also interested in, but the second ingredient is alcohol. Um, let me see if they give ingredients here. No, they don't, but in the US you can get the So Totally Clean anti-blemish pads. You can get the, cleanse, the uh, oh, it has got ingredients. Oh, it's got a couple of ingredients, it's not listing everything. So Totally Clean Micellar Cleansing Water Sensitive Formula. I don't think the one in the boots I went into was the sensitive formula and the second ingredient was denatured alcohol. And in my opinion, you don't need that in a micellar water. There's no reason to have that in there. Yeah, what it's doing here, the, the website is giving you a list of the natural ingredients they use, but they're not giving you all of the ingredients. So um, that's a bit of a shame, but there you go. Um, so you've got the totally clean anti-blemish pads, the micellar water. What else have you got that we don't have? You've got some wipes, keep me clean wipes and face off wipes. Um, there's another product called Down to the Pore pore strips, um, interesting. It's not giving me ingredients, so I can't tell you much more than that. There's a product called Get Your Glow On and a product called Keep Your Cool. Get Your Glow On is a skin brightening peel mask, so I would be interested in that one actually. And then there's a skin calming gel mask. I would definitely be interested in that one. It's coconut, cucumber and chamomile. That would be really interesting. What a shame that we don't do them all. If anybody knows anywhere else that's selling these, because I did look on Google, I can't see that they're available anywhere else. Um, Picture Perfect Day. 
Oh, PM Perfecto, that's the final, final thing that you can get in the US that we can't get. PM Perfecto, overnight hydrating cream, black currant and licorice. It's in a jar, so I wouldn't be overly interested in that, and it would depend on the ingredients. But um, you've definitely got a couple of extra um, interesting products over there in the USA. Yeah. I've got to tell you about those products. My one recommendation would be this, the One Smooth Operator pore clearing face scrub but even that will be personal choice won't it because some people like a light exfoliation other people like it to really feel like you're scrubbing hard on your skin and to have a red face afterwards um, and the other products like I said are not bad like the absolute dream clean is just because for me if it doesn't take my eye makeup remover it's it's a deal breaker um, the picture perfect day is just it's just got a little bit of fragrance in it I think that is okay for me, but it doesn't beat the other products I've already got. Um, this one, I didn't see any difference, but like I said, I'm quite a cynic and I don't ever notice that much in my skin from masks anyway. And that may be me just being flipping unobservant because I really am unobservant. So um, anyway, I hope that was useful from the point of view of telling you, giving you an idea of what the ingredients were are in these products. Um, what would be really helpful from you guys is if you've tried them, let us know in the comments what you think of these and if you've got any favorite products that you would recommend. And like I said, if you know anywhere else they're available, I, I've only seen them on Boots and I can only find them on Boots online or in America, they're in Ulta. Um, so that's where I link to. That's how I found find out where they are. I had to look in Ulta and they sell this stuff in Ulta. So um, that's everything. I'll give you a quick rundown of my makeup. I'm looking in there thinking I look like some kind of goth because of my makeup and my paleness, which is weird because I have used my darker foundation for my self-tan. I used self-tan last night. I don't know what's going on. Um, I've got on the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I just used one color over my lid. It's a kind of one, one color look. Um, what was the blush I used? Oh, do you know, it's the Regal Mauve by Nabla. Then on my lips, I used the Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick in Child Star, and that's everything. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you soon.